Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Stitch, and we're working on a distracted down stitch. Now, what I'm going to do just to warm Stitch up is I'm just going to toss the tree. Eight. Stitch. Down. I'm going to give him a couple seconds to do what I ask. Yes. I'm going to give him a treat. Stay. I'm just going to tell him to stay with a flat palm. Now, today's distraction is going to be the door behind me, and I'm just going to open and close it, and Stitch just drops that he can't move. Stitch, stay. I'm going to open the door. Yes. Stay. And because we're working on purely distraction today, I'm just going to give him a treat after each distraction. I'm not really working on duration today. I just want to focus on the distraction part. Yes. Stay. And I'm just reiterating that stay after each treat. Yes. Stay. Now I'm going to see if Stitch will move if I step out of the room. Stitch, stay. Yes. Stitch, I'm going to step out of the room one more time. Yes. Stay. And then finally, I want to be able to walk out of the room, close the door, or sorry, I'm going to open the door, walk out the room, walk back in, and then close the door. Stitch, stay. Uh -huh. Now when stitch breaks, I'm going to give him a second to correct himself. Stay. Now when he breaks, I'm not going to give him another treat. I don't want him to think that the more he breaks, the more food he's going to get. So I'm just going to reiterate the stay. Stitch, stay. Open the door. Walk out of the room. Come back in. Close the door. Yes. Stay. And I'm just giving the treats nice and low to the ground so that stitch is not tempted to get up. Stay. I'm going to do that one more time. Open the door. Walk out the room. Come back in. Close the door. Yes. Then I just tap on that to release. And that was really good from stitch. Now the next step would be ideally to move it into a more distracting area. But for today, really nice job from stitch. Really happy with the progress. Come on.